What's going on everybody? It's Richard Cobra here, the Blue Collar Nerd. Now, maybe not all of you know this, but before I was an okay YouTuber, I was actually a mediocre HVAC technician. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing my tool bag of choice, which is this guy right here, the Vito Pro Pack Tech LC. This is the bag I used when I was in the field and it served me pretty well. This bag is very well constructed, it's very durable. Now the bag has two main pockets, one on either side of the bag. On this first side, we also have two small pockets in the front. So you can unzip those, maybe keep a couple small little things in here, maybe a few extra wire nuts, a couple of jumper cables, things like that. Then if we open up this main pocket, you see inside we've got plenty of small pockets to keep all of the individual tools separated. So we've got these main pockets up at the top. I've got my utility knife, channel locks, needle nose pliers. And then as you kind of step down lower in the bag, the pockets get smaller. There's plenty of extra smaller spots here for smaller screwdrivers and nut drivers. I like to keep my little stubby guys right there in the front. And if we turn it around to the other side, now this side has kind of a bigger pocket right up front. I don't keep too much in there, just some pipe cutters. And there's also another zipper pocket, and this one's actually a lot deeper. And I keep fuses in there, some extra terminals for wires and things like that. Now if we open up this main pocket, this one's less divided. This one just has some main bigger pockets. I'm gonna keep in levels in there, a big pack of wire nuts, a bunch of my bigger nut drivers. And this is also where I like to keep a little 12 volt drill. Okay, you got this. You pick the drill up, now just put it down. You don't have to do the thing. You don't have to do the thing. Ah, I just can't help it. Now up at the very top of this side, we do have some smaller shallow pockets for like drill bits. And then there is one more zipper pocket here at the top. Now here on the side of this bag, we do have three pockets. I like to keep my two most commonly used nut drivers here on the side, my quarter inch and my 5 16 And there is this other pocket over here that I'm personally not doing anything with. Now we've also got this handy built-in tape holder so you can keep some electrical tape or whatever right there outside of the bag. Now here on the other side of the bag, there's a metal clip where you could attach a tape measure, but I've actually chosen to just keep my tape measure inside the bag and instead I've got this little extra doohickey right here. This is the Vito Pro Pack MB Series meter bag. So it's got two main pockets here at the front velcroed shut and in there I've got my clamp meter and then here in the main pocket I have my multimeter. This also has an extra velcro pocket up front and I actually keep dog treats in there. I ask the clients if it's okay if I give their dog a treat and they like that. And then a couple of extra pockets on the side to keep like flashlights or something like that. One thing I really appreciate about this bag is that the bottom is this hard plastic. So that means if you're outside washing down a condenser you don't have to worry about am I putting my bag down in a puddle because it's not just going to soak into your bag. It also adds a lot of durability. You don't have to worry about like screwdrivers poking through the bottom of your bag or anything Anything like that. Now another thing that I really want to like about this bag is this little clip that's on the shoulder strap. You can take this and then you can clip it right there on the handle and that's supposed to keep it from dragging on the floor. And it does sort of. The problem is that this middle handle doesn't stay perfectly upright. It kind of sags to one side. And when it does that, it kind of pushes the clip off. And then eventually the strap falls and it just ends up dangling on the floor anyways. Another minor annoyance, this little meter bag that I got, I actually ended up having to kind of zip tie the clip onto the bag. So you're supposed to be able to just clip it onto the tape measure clip. But what I found was that just from putting the bag down, it would push this extra meter bag up and it would fall off. So a simple zip tie did solve that problem, but it also takes away my ability to take this off and use it as a separate bag, which you're supposed to be able to do. Another thing to know about this bag is that while it is very well constructed, it's also pretty heavy. Now if you don't want to be lugging around a super heavy bag, they do make kind of a backpack version of this. And they do make it in several other varieties. So if, if you like this bag in general, but maybe you'd prefer a slightly different style or a different size, check out Vito Pro Pack's other offerings. They come in lots of varieties. If you are interested in this bag, check out the description below. I've got a link where you can pick it up. Or if this is not going to be the bag for you at all, check out this awesome blog post by Service Titan. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. Or maybe you're just watching this on the blog post itself already. And that post has several other very excellent bag suggestions. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Be sure to hit like if you like this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.